Hey guys, it's your boy, Soft Spoken Shaman. It's gonna start off with a quote, Ecclesiastes 7.26, King James Version. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay, this video is about the decoy known as the coronavirus and the real virus that's been going uh, uh, mimetically been going through the society for at least 60 years and that's the feminine virus you know this has been circulating on 4chan for a couple years now you know what do they I think they call it virus X or something and it's all it is it's a you know viruses we need to stop looking at them like they're bacteria or they're so, like they're super bacteria or like th there's some sort of little petri dish of like crazy like you know microscopic worm shit a virus look at it like a computer man you know a virus is something it's like a system buster it gets in there worms its way into the system like a meme like when something goes viral on the internet you know and all of a sudden it just saturates the system that it that it penetrated the feminine virus has saturated uh, gender relations you know when you when you go on tinder or bumble or just in real life you go to a bar you go to a, a bookstore or the park and you see a girl with you know some weird colored day glow pink hair and a, a bull ring through her nose and like piercings up in her eyebrows and all over her shit you know and she's got a pierced uh pierced clitoris and pierced uh titties and you know and she's got tattoos everywhere i mean she basically it's she marked herself you know it's the, it's the virus it's the feminine virus it's a it's a real bioweapon and it works through iud's through birth control hormone disruptors through the food and the water supply with birth control in it and, and um, those are the those are the like the physical corporeal carrier substance carriers of the feminine virus but ultimately the feminine virus is is mental and psychological in origin um, I don't know I don't know about you guys but when you get with a woman whether it's a one night stand or it's just kind of like you know you're dating for a little bit and you get into her head and see how she views men and sex and 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 just even living on life you know she's got a living in life she's got a very unwholesome attitude these girls man like i don't drink alcohol i don't smoke i don't even drink coffee you know my my, my life is about being wholesome and and feeling good and being one with my situation on the earth but these women man they just want to get fucked up and they hate themselves and they hate themselves because that that's a that's the barometer to see how much the feminine virus has affected them because if they hate themselves if, if, if they show that they hate themselves by way of depression or these negative uh, self-defeating behaviors, it shows that the virus hasn't taken hold 100%. They're still, those women are still bad news, but they're, a little bit of their femininity is left. The ones that you got to watch out for are the ones who are like, like art ho girls who have the colored hair and the tattoos and the piercings, but they've got a cynicism and a nihilism and this biting sarcasm that lets you know they hate you. And the programming's taken hold with them, and they're not only carriers, they're transmitters. You know, they're literally transponders for the for the feminine the feminine virus content. You know, the whole index of what the feminine virus means. Now you can read about it online, uh, because I don't know all the ins and outs. I've read about it, I've thought about it, and it just goes uh, it goes into uh, the Denver Airport murals and the Bank of America murals, man. Like the last triptych, which I've talked about in another video of the Bank of America mural is it's a bunch of dead bodies it's after all the dead bodies all the women and children have have died because of whatever happens you know um or most of them and the end there's just men with shovels and spades rebuilding and then beneath a hill there's a sleeping giant and allegorically the sleeping giant is humanity true humanity waking up you know and finally emerging from the shit you know the elite are just trying to uh in a malthusian sense you know purge the crap and and uh hasten evolution you don't have to call it evolution but just you know quicken the pace of of purifying and bettering the human race call it eugenics if you want um it serves their purpose to have dummies right now because they're stupid cogs and their 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 energy is useful no matter how stupid they are um and uh another sense that the giant is you know the earth the intelligence of the earth once more asserting itself because it's carrying capacity um, you know some people say the carrying capacity of earth is 10 billion people some people say we've already reached it some people say it's 20 billion I don't know some people believe in depopulation hoax and they say that we really don't have uh, seven or eight billion people on the planet it's really much less 
Um, but I'm not going to do the work to count up all the census, census material from all around the world, you know. Uh, it's just food for thought. Uh, once again, you know, the Bible is kind of uh, Ecclesiastes, Proverbs, mostly the, the Old Testament. Is, it really red pills us on, on female behavior. And it makes sense because if you think about it, the earth is a single mother. <laughs> you know, our, our, our habitat is a single mother. You know, because because you know all the creation myths, Native American, uh, Scandinavian, whatever, they all talk about you know, like the God, you know, fertilizing the earth, you know, panspermia, right, or even just rain, you know, fertilizing the earth, and the, and the father's absent, right. So the mother, you know, Mother Earth is a single mother. So when we see all this destruction and shit, single mothers, you know, busting up society and, and fucking it up, you know, they're little never do well, uh, half breed bastards, you know. Uh, committing crime and all that we really can't be surprised you know and and people the one thing that I take uh, umbrage with is a lot of people think this is a modern day thing and I think no 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 if the Bible and other texts were telling us about this and I'm not a Bible tard you know but I'm just it's source material primary source material if the Bible's telling us this from over 2,000 years ago come on man this is not modern the other thing is read a play called Assembly Women by I forget if it's by Euripides or Aristophanes from ancient Greece it talks about exactly what happens when women take over and they get too much power you know from the 19th amendment on we're a hundred years after the 19th amendment was given and uh, you know I'm not necessarily for or against it I'm just reporting chronicling the facts ever since then we've had societal breakdown um, because the industrial revolution gave us you know expansive economic power in America ever since that though ever since 1920 has been downhill in a way you know so uh, it, it's interesting to think about this, <clears throat> you know, coronavirus is just a decoy. And this is how the elite work when they release pandemonium and chaos. They use natural means because they respect nature and they hold nature as the paragon of the, the supreme artist. You know, you could say they're Gnostics, you know, they worship the Demiurge. The Demiurge is, is nature. Nature didn't create itself, you know, God created nature, the creator created nature. But they won't give it up to the creator. They give it up. They worship the handiwork instead of the handyman, instead of the craftsman. Um, so this is what happens. You know, we live in this kind of busted up, kind of. It's not quite an opposite day world, but it's like a fucked up world where you really have to have your perception honed. You have to have acute perception to look at this and see for what it is. Because if you talk to a normie, they're gonna go, "Did you watch the Tiger King? I watched Tiger King." gay white guy get arrested in Oklahoma, you know, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man, you know? So it's, it's really tough out there, really tough out there to watch this, watch this shit go down. But <sighs> the gender war is the primary, uh, ignition source for what's going to go down in terms of the social engineering and, and the social upheaval and kind of like the behavioral sink archetype from the mouse utopia experiment. The gender rift, that chasm, uh, is, is, is the primary um, avenue for creating this. Because if you can destroy a trust between the genders, like I said before, you destroy the, the, the atomic unit of, of society, which is the family you know, and monogamy. And, and you could say that, you know, agriculture ushered that in. And before that, when we were primarily hunter gatherers, perhaps maybe we had, uh, you know, it, it takes a village model where you don't know who the dad is or who, you know, whatever. It is a potential. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of people who've written on, on this before. There's also the people who say, well, the elites have more Neanderthal DNA, you know, and, and that's why they see it different than, than the normies. But See, the thing is, when you watch these videos, you got to understand, I'm, I'm not even knocking the elite. I mean, they're going to be in power no matter what. I'm not knocking them. I'm just trying to bring light through my critical analysis of society to, uh, you know, what's going on, man. And this is about a 10-minute video now. I, I, I like to cap it around 10. So it's just a primer. It's a primer. I'm going to prime it. You stain it. All right. See you guys.